History stretches back infinitely, which means there's all the time in the world for treasures and incredibly unique and mysterious things to get lost under the layers of years. Time and inaccessibility has kept a lot hidden, like ancient artifacts, tombs, gadgets, and even whole cities and civilizations. But this also means with modern knowledge and better tools, we're able to find the things that were concealed previously. People have discovered a variety of unbelievable stuff over the years, from unexploded bombs to massive jewels. These and many other ancient goods have been unearthed only recently, and in today's video we'll be showing you the most amazing ones. So hold tight and make sure you watch till the end. But before we get started, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. The coast wasn't clear. Diving isn't a sport for the light-hearted, but those who are willing to give it a shot are bound to have the experience of a lifetime. You get to observe the versatile marine life up close, soak in the colors and more. But if you're lucky, you might discover an ancient Neptunian blade believed to be cursed. This sword you see was found off the coast of North Israel in October 2021 by a diver. It's around 900 years old, and experts believe it was used as a weapon by a crusader from the army attempting to conquer the Holy Land. It's not surprising that the sword ended up in the sea, as a lot of crusaders had to engage in battle the moment they got off their ships. It weighs around 4 pounds and is about 4 feet long, so it's safe to assume the bearer of this sword was a strong man. But there's a good chance it was unable to save its owner's life, or else it wouldn't have ended up in the ocean. The diver, Shlomi Katzen, happily donated his discovery to the local museum, but before it was put in the glass box, people took a few pictures with it for Instagram. No bones about it. Heavy machinery operator Sean Fink was having a normal workday. His job was to operate a cable shovel, a huge machine used for moving hundreds of tons of dirt every day. But on that fateful day in 2011, his bucket suddenly hit something unusually hard. When Fink and his co-workers examined the strange rock, they were left in awe by what they had discovered. They'd found what looked like row upon row of sand-brown disks. It was a massive fossil of some kind. Soon after, paleotechnicians were called to help excavate this discovery. The fossil was first encased in plaster and then slowly moved out from the dirt. But despite the care, the fossil snapped in half, probably from its own weight while being pulled up. The team was devastated, but thankfully lab workers from the Royal Tyrell Museum managed to restore it after spending a lot of time and effort. This took around six years, but the final result revealed the nodosaur. Some scientists believe this huge herbivorous beast inhabited the Earth around 110 million years ago, in what is now part of Western Canada. The nodosaur had an estimated weight of an incredible 3,000 pounds and was about 18 feet in length. It had unbelievably dense armor on its dorsal surface. It was thick and spiky, like the outer skin of a pineapple. This creature also possessed an amazing camouflage ability called countershading. Time-worn cyborg Treasure hunters in Switzerland discovered something remarkable back in October 2017 when they were out looking for hidden treasure with metal detectors. While digging through the dirt near the shores of Lake Beale, they came across a mysterious but also breathtaking metal hand. This was made of bronze and was decorated with a gold cuff. It contained a socket at the bottom. According to experts, it's around 3,500 years old and was probably mounted on something back then. An arm, maybe, but more likely on a statue or scepter. It could be a sign of the first ever cyborg in human history. Archaeologists were quite amazed by this discovery. They were not even sure it was real. They dug around the area and soon found an ancient grave, a spiral-shaped hair ornament, a broken finger, and the bones of an adult male. It's assumed that the man in the grave was an important person while alive. A hand might have been packed with the deceased to replicate a loss to limb before his journey in the afterlife began. But well, we'd like to think it belonged to a Bronze Age robot with superpowers. That would be so cool. Ghost Be Gone Fear is a natural human response and quite necessary for survival. It keeps us safe from everything that can potentially harm us like spiders, ghosts or clowns. Interestingly, British Museum researchers have discovered evidence to prove that people have always feared one of the aforementioned things. In October 2021, a Babylonian clay tablet was unearthed in one of the gloomy museum vaults. The tablet is assumed to be more than 3,500 years old 
and is nearly the size of your palm. On examining it closely, the curators at the museum realized it was carved with the first ever recorded depiction of a ghost. You can see that the picture of the tablet shows a bearded spirit being led along by a woman. This wasn't revealed previously because somehow the ghost image is only visible when viewed under light from a particular angle. The tablet contains a series of instructions and images educating the reader on how to deal with unwanted spirits. The instructions actually demonstrate compassion for the spirit and suggest that it might be lonely, hence bothering the reader. The tablet instructs to keep two small figures, dress them up and set up some beer for them, and just by doing that, the spirit will be escorted to the underworld. Hot Plate Mistake Your kitchen may be full of expensive gadgets, but nothing as expensive as what this 90-year-old French woman found in her kitchen while she was preparing to sell her house. She had a painting hung over a hot plate for years and paid no regard to it, assuming it was just a cheap print. She tried to sell it, but when an auctioneer set their eyes on the painting, they were left stunned. It was a long-lost masterpiece created by the infamous Italian master Cimabue. The painting is called Christ Mocked. It's around 700 years old, and no one can tell how it ended up over the hot plate in an old lady's kitchen. It was brought to the auction of Eric Turquin, an expert appraiser, who informed them that the painting was valued between four and $6.5 million. If you think that's unbelievable, wait till you find out how much it was actually sold for. $26.8 million. We sure hope we can find something of value from our trash. Your Mama's So Old There are many ways to be remembered after death, but being the subject of a popular Yo Mama joke is something nobody has on their bucket list. Well, in 1976, J.J. Van Dyke, an archaeologist, came across a cracked tablet that was around 3,500 years old. It was found in Iraq, but later it mysteriously vanished. Van Dyke was smart enough to copy the inscription that was on it. It took scholars quite some time to finish translating the text, but to their surprise, instead of containing knowledge or instructions on ghost management, it contained jokes. The ancient slab was inscribed with riddles that had funny answers. The subject of these jokes included politics, beer, and your mama. The current understanding of the joke isn't clear, but what remains of the riddle says, Of your mother is by the one who has intercourse with her. What or who is it? In modern language, it may go like this. Your mama is like a five-foot-tall basketball hoop. It ain't that hard to score. Well, no stand-up comedian is using a joke this lame unless they plan to take eggs and tomatoes home. Gem of a Find Zambia is home to the magnificent Mulsi Latunya Falls, the big five of African wildlife and the largest man-made lake in the world. But there are people in this mesmerizing country who spend their days working 40 feet underground. But that's the life of an emerald miner. In 2018, the miners in Zambian Kagem Emerald Mine discovered quite a special gem a massive, brightly colored emerald that weighed around two and a half pounds. The stone has been named the Inkalamu, meaning lion, in the local Zambian language. It measures around 5,556 carats. While typical emeralds are cost between $200 to $18,000 per carat, so no one was surprised when the Inkalamu sold for a whopping $50 million. Oh no, Picasso! Movies might portray art thieves as brilliant and intelligent criminals, but that's not always the case. A Greek construction worker named George Samansopoulos was an art freak. He often visited the art gallery in Athens and was quite fond of a few specific paintings. He actually decided to acquire these paintings by any means possible. For six months, he wandered the gallery taking notes of the painting's locations, cameras, and guard shifts. Later in January 2012, he snuck into the gallery at night with help from construction tools from his day job. He managed to take three works of art, including Picasso's A Woman's Head, Mondrian's Mill, and a sketch by Guglielmo Caccia. Worse than stealing, George somehow managed to taint the sketch with blood and then flushed it in the toilet. But despite this criminal lack of appreciation for art, he got away with this crime for nine years. In 2021, police announced they were close to finding the culprit. George heard this and panicked. Therefore, in a hurry, he moved the paintings to a ditch. Yes, he put a Picasso in a ditch. Have we mentioned that it was worth $19 million? Soon after, he confessed to the police and led them to the paintings that were recovered and restored. Garden Variety Bomb 
Ian Royce from Victoria, Australia was cleaning out his garden with no intention to stumble across explosive ammo, but that's exactly what happened. He discovered a 550-pound and several-foot-wide explosive that was undetonated. The bomb was an ocean mine from World War II period. The mines used to be covered in thin spines and would be set off if anything came in contact with these spines. These were typically attached to long chains and were used to keep ships and submarines from encroaching upon restricted territory. After the war, these mines were decommissioned and used as incinerators, and lucky for Ian, the one he discovered was also this decommissioned kind. But we're amazed at his level of ignorance. How did he manage to not see this massive bomb amongst his azaleas? He did, however, sell the bomb for $3,000. That part he knew. Give me some tongue. In February 2021, archaeologists working on the excavation of the ancient temple of Toposaurus Magna in Egypt came across this mind-boggling discovery. While surveying the Ptolemaic structure, they found a 2,000-year-old mummy with a golden tongue placed in its mouth. The tongue was made from a golden foil, and it was supposed to act as some sort of charm, according to experts. It was supposed to ensure the deceased was able to speak and communicate in the afterlife. Or maybe the individual had lost their tongue before dying. Besides the gold-tongued mummy, the team also found this creepy woman in a full-body death mask. Traditionally, when someone important in Egypt died, a mask of their face was created and placed on the body, so the deceased soul knew which body to come back to once it was time to begin their afterlife journey. This one seems like it's smiling for the camera. Ram with a plan The Sphinx is no doubt the jewel of Egypt, but did you know that this human-headed Sphinx isn't the only kind of Sphinx out there? Turns out there are numerous ones, and some new ones have been recently discovered in October 2021. Egyptologists unearthed three giant ram heads made of stone in the Karnak Temple. These heads were built in the Ptolemaic period about 2,000 to 2,300 years ago. These were probably a part of the Avenue of Sphinxes situated close by. This avenue is no less than a wonder and features 700 statues of various sizes and shapes, in its heyday, it's thought to have featured 1,350 sphinxes. The ram heads found are broken off of their bodies, but the archaeologists are trying their best to reattach them. Here's to hoping they succeed. Footprints in the Sand The evidence of human life surprisingly dates quite far back. The oldest garment discovered is called the Tarkan Dress and is about 5,000 years old, and even older than that is the world's oldest city called Uruk, an ancient Sumerian city in Mesopotamia. It was founded 6,500 years ago. Older than Uruk is the oldest wood carving called Shiga Idol found in Russia and is 12,500 years old, meaning it was carved by humans during what's believed to be the Ice Age. But even more mind-boggling is what was discovered quite recently in the White Sands National Park and is around twice as old as the Shigir Idol. This latest discovery is footprints found in New Mexico Park and are believed to be about 21,000 years old. On the basis of the size and depth of indentation of these footprints, researchers have found out the age and walking speed of the people who left these prints. According to experts, these footprints were left by 16 people, most of whom were teenagers and children. It is assumed that the younger members of the prehistoric tribes used to go in search of food and resources, so these people might have been out exploring to find water and vegetation. Well, it turns out teenagers were being forced to do chores even in prehistoric times. You just can't change human nature. We hope you all enjoyed learning about these amazing discoveries. Do tell us in the comments section which one intrigued you the most. We'll be back soon with more informative content. Until then, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you all next time.